All right, go. Go ahead, Justin. All right. <laughs> Uh, welcome to our milestone planning. Um, so if we're just going to look at the agenda, the first thing we want to check out is that 15.6 issue. Remember, this issue is for you to help balance your work um, and track all the UX themes we may be working on, as well as the points attributed to those. Um, keep in mind that we're coming up to the holiday season, so those capacities may start to drop as we move into fall and winter. Um, what else? So the issue itself is very light. Let's just be sure to make sure that we fill those things out. Um, we all kind of have an idea of what we'll be working on, but it's just good for us sanity's sake to keep track of that. Um, and we can move to the agenda if we'd like to just take any notes. Actually, let me, let me uh, mention something really quick. Um, yeah. In lieu of the new prioritization thing, um, our, uh, uh, who is it? Vancy has requested to be added to our, our planning issues. I'm not sure what she needs, but she had requested it just for visibility at the very least. So that's one reason, another reason why we need to make sure to fill in stuff so she knows what's happening. So she has been added to, to the 15-6 one, to this one that we're working on. Who is Nancy? Asking for a friend, I, I know. Nancy is a, what do we call QA? Oh, okay, a QA counterpart. Yeah. Do we call it QA here? I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, she needs to see it so she can make sure that uh, we're properly addressing the percentages for the next prioritization step. So, there you go. Just want to throw that in. Keep an eye on those. Um, let's make sure to do that. Justin, would you ping them in the issue? I, I added her to the uh, assignees and I told her in the issue where she requested it that she's been added. Okay. Um, we should also check to make sure that Sam Kerr is added to these calls. Um, he is. Actually, but, not uh, anymore. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, doesn't matter. He's leaving on once again. Hasn't, oh. well, I don't know. Has it been announced? <laughs> Yes, it has. Okay. Yeah, it's been okay. announced. Um, he is going to be the group manager for product analytics, and I'm going to be taking over compliance in the interim until we hire someone else to take over that. So Sam Sam is, does not need to be added anymore. He, he got yeah. back just in time to leave. Yeah, pretty much. Perfect timing. So let's make sure that Sam's not on the issue and not added to the agenda. Sam Kerr, yeah. that is. Um, well, cool. Uh, we're also in the midst of hiring a designer for that role, so much like yeah, much like we would treat composition analysis for the time being. Um, fun. Let's see what else, Justin. What else would you? I think I think that's it. Do? We should. Uh probably go from the top of the issue down. Unless, I don't think we have any sus stuff, do we? Uh, we were working with Neil for S3, S4s, trying to knock some of those out. Um, but a lot of them can be categorized with the shoulder shrug emoji um, in terms yeah. of next step actions, so. Let me see. I don't think we have any S1s. We don't have any S2s. Yeah, we're, we're pretty golden. A testament right. to our ability to deliver value and usability. Um, right. I, am I putting you on the spot by having you do this? I mean, I don't care. I'm just winging it. All right. That's what I do. Uh, so we have compliance now at the top, but that will be up for you. Derek, once you get your head around that and kind of figure out how to roll down what issues need to go where, um, you yeah. can kind of treat those needs as like 
distributed to the pool of secure and governed designers. Um, okay, good to know. Yeah, since I was just given this last night, I have no input right now. What are we working on next? What's our direction? And <laughs> um, okay, so composition analysis again in limbo that is moved over to Matt Wilson, if I'm not mistaken. The usability yeah. side. Okay. We don't have anything on that yet. Mm -hmm. um, my next steps are to dig up some research, just kind of like, where are we on this? What do we know? What was in flight? Um, but not touching it yet. Uh, I know we had one issue that is kind of in the works uh, from Sam White's side on license management that um, I could find and link to here, but that's design complete. Um, but that's just some planning breakdown stuff. Um, and Becca, if you want to sync on the CA stuff, what was in flight and where the direction lies, I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. Um, moving into the security policy stuff. It seems like your area, Sam White. Yeah, so we have two UX themes that we're working towards there. Um, both of them pretty heavily focused, obviously, on policies. I guess it's like the whole category, whole group at this point. Um, the first one, we're just trying to add a lot of additional options into the scan result policy editor. We've you know, since we've released that, we've had a whole bunch of requests. We have a pretty good idea of like, you know, the areas that we need additional granularity and filtering that policy so that it can meet their needs. We have a lot of feedback saying, well, this is great, but I actually need to like only have the rule trigger in this condition, or actually I only need these approvers. You know, so we basically just lumped all of that up together. That's what Camellia is working on right now. Um, I'm hoping that she'll be able to finish that one out in 15.6, but I guess we'll see. And then we split that one actually into two. So we have a second UX theme that's focused more on the merge request page itself, just providing some better visibility and clarity there. We have a lot of users that get confused by different conditions. Like for example, the, um, the merge request waits until the pipeline finishes before it evaluates whether or not there are vulnerabilities present to know whether or not approval is required. But it can be misleading while the pipeline is running because it'll show that that approval is required when it hasn't technically found any vulnerabilities yet. So we just need to do some things to improve that messaging and explain like it's required for now so that you can't just merge it in if there are vulnerabilities, but we're still scanning. So once your pipeline finishes, you might be able to come back. You know, things like that is, is just an example. We have a, a collection of you know, usability problems there that uh, we'll be working on as that second priority UX thing. Mm -hmm. See, right now we're doing a great job at embracing zero trust with that. So that's okay, that's a feature. <laughs> Even if it's confusing to the user, <laughs> it's still a feature. Yeah. Um, pertinent to that topic, Sam, um, Michael and I are going through an OKR and we've done some research and went through past research on the security team's expectations for when they should be required to approve versus required to be brought in. Um, but as we move down our agenda, you'll see a link to the walkthrough uh, that Michael did yesterday for a UX showcase. Okay, um, yeah, that's interesting. We've got um, at least one open issue that addresses that. So I'd be curious to see how that lines up with what we have planned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, popping back up, putting you on the spot, Matt. Composition analysis, uh, we just scrolled over that. Um, if there's any needs in the interim, feel free to throw those issues into the 15.6 planning. Um, but I mentioned I made myself available to Becca to help walk through kind of what's been done. Um, and there's even some, I guess, legacy stuff that's still in staging that can be checked out too. 
that can help understanding like auto remediate and policies around that. Um, uh, well, hold on, just get a curiosity. Why, why are you asking? I'm not a composition analysis PM. Who is? That would be well, Sam I thought, still. I thought you got the SCA I got, UX. I got dependency lists and the policy list. So uh -huh. the rest of composition analysis staying put for now. That's right. Dependency. So like licenses. The, the license compliance page but not the policy aspect of it gotcha. yeah, so, the po so we split things up quite a few ways so the license compliance policies like license check and that policies tab that is now under the security policies category that was that design work you did andy because mm -hmm. we're actually going to deprecate and remove that and move it all into policies then the list of licenses and the dependency list belongs to matt but the software composition analysis group that's under secure, they have the actual like analyzers for dependency scanning and container scanning now. All of that is still insecure. And I'm still covering for Nicole who left because we haven't yet uh, filled that position. Okay. So, but uh, that said, Andy, you bring up a really good point. Who, who should own the UI? piece of that yeah that's what i was about to ask is this a technically a category underneath threat insights or vulnerability management or is this looked at as being a group this is dependency management i believe right this is being called so you're talking about when you say auto remediation are you talking about the eventual vision to if there is something that can be patched or upgraded or whatever, not having to hit the button, but just having that action taken automatically? Well, yeah, I mean, it's that has been an ongoing semantic debate. Uh, if you look at the history of yes. auto remediate versus click a button to create a merge request that then auto fixes. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're calling it auto automatically generated solutions for vulnerabilities for okay. AGSV <laughs> for short, if you're playing <laughs> right. But regardless <laughs> of what you call it, that feature belongs under composition analysis, which would fall under myself at the moment. Okay, cool. Um, fine, this is we're doing good. Thanks for letting me leave, Justin. Um, so I wasn't, think, I wasn't thinking about that either in terms of yeah. what we just talked about somehow. That's, yeah. So the, the composition UX side of things can be seen as another bucket of dependency management needs, as well as any other features that correlate to that, maybe even license compliance or license management, et cetera, and auto remediate or AGSV. Um, so I'm going to guess no needs right now for either of these minus yeah, the we don't flight. really have any UX needs for the composition analysis group right now. Okay. Um, moving to dynamic analysis. Yeah, so um, Derek and I haven't touched base on exactly what we'll be working on this next milestone because our meeting is basically right after this. Good timing. Um, but unless he has any higher priority items, I plan to just continue chipping away at security profiles and making some progress there. So, and then I'm also out for almost half this milestone. So I'll be at a little bit of a reduced capacity. Yep. That's still the highest priority. So, yeah. cool. Hey, look, we had our meeting. I can go get coffee now. <laughs> yes, there we are. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so we'll just make sure to fill out the planning issue with those needs, uh, static analysis. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think that's largely the same sort of effort right now. I know Connor is doing some work around thinking about, um, what was that, uh, code quality and thinking about the direction of that and maybe some design needs that come out of that. But at the moment, I'm still just looking to chip away at static analysis profiles as well. Right on. Right now. Yeah. Saw your work on that and thinking holistically about profiles in general. Great work. Um, 
Threat insights. <laughs> okay. Um, let me put the dog down. Um, so, what? The dog can participate. Yeah. Oh, he was getting wiggly. Everyone can contribute. <laughs> Even the doggies. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, this is, uh, this is kind of, it, it's TBD kind of right now. So I just met with, um, Jeremy, Matei and Nick, and we discussed next, next steps with regard to filtering. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, for the vulnerability report, we were moving in the direction of comparing, the filtered search component with a new direction for filtering altogether. And it turns out that foundations and plan are um, starting to challenge the notion of the filtered search component altogether. It wasn't built with like UX in mind. Um, it was kind of a, a developer solution. Um, and so we are collectively um, all discussing filtering um from the ground up now so um that meeting just wrapped up as this one started so next steps on that um i'm going to prototype out some um, possibilities there um we're all generally there's a general consensus of of how this should work but there's little micro interactions does it open up in a popover or a modal or a drawer. Um, and so I'm going to prototype that up and then um, put it in front of some people um, and get some feedback. So that's next steps with filtering. Um, and then off of that comes some of the other things that we have in our current UX theme um, regarding like customizable saved views. Um, being able to view vulnerabilities side by side. Um, and so I, we need to get this filtering piece figured out first and foremost, um, while keeping those other um, features in mind um, to make sure that the it's, it's scalable enough to incorporate new features. So that's going to be my focus. Um, eventually, there will be solution validation on that. Um, it probably won't be in 15.6, um, but uh, maybe some light solution validation, just like internal feedback anyways. Um, and then- hey, hey, Becca? Yes. Sorry, just real quick. So just, it sounds like you are actually kind of turning into maybe the point person for driving forward some initial studies on what we could replace the filtered search component with. Maybe. I am. I signed up to um, to like think through a a couple of the ideas that we have for feedback internally. Um, yes, awesome. I yeah. Okay, that's why I was kind of hoping you were. We were. We would end up being sort of the tip of the spear on what to redo since we need it like a year ago. Right, right. <laughs> I don't think we can wait another six months to a year to figure out uh, something. Definitely. So, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Matt brings up a good point. This You could potentially time box this ever and consider um, Justin's template for a design pod, which helps organize and structure the initiative versus kind of having, having team members pop in and out and going in and out of the project, which can derail or stall you out. Um, yeah. So I would recommend taking a look or talking to Justin about how design pods work. Um, yep, sounds good. Um, I mean, we kind of have one formed unofficially, but I'll, I'll look at the documentation. I know we have linked from the handbook um, to see if there's anything else I need to be doing in that front. Um, and then Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, but I I don't have anything specific yet for 15.6 because I want to see how the next two weeks of 15.5 goes. Um, right now we're looking at um, canceling or reverting vulnerabilities. And um, Matt and I met yesterday and there's there was 
there were some questions about grouping from the developers. And so Matt and I were doing kind of like a pair design thing um, at the end of day yesterday, um, kind of re-exploring some of those concepts. So I, I think we should be able to wrap those things up in 15.5, but I don't know because scope has a way of increasing exponentially on these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So um, that's also kind of TBD. Um, but I think my my focus is going to be filtering for this next milestone. And that is nodding. So I'll take that as. Yeah, and I, I think we can also probably take off the study that we had planned around the filtered search component then, right? So that'll yeah. hopefully. Yeah, so that will only bandwidth for that. Yeah. Great. Yep. Again, I think putting some structure around that will help drive the project as opposed to it kind of just revolving. Um, yeah. And I think we have a tendency in the foundation side to be, be blue sky and continue pushing versus bringing things down into their MVC form to help us deliver value quickly. Um, so it's all about our values there. Uh, let's see, does that cover Thread Insights for the most part? I believe so. Okay. Uh, the last thing I wanna make everyone aware of is the OKR that Michael and I have been working on, which is building a business case uh, for one cross-stage flow. That cross-stage flow identified was managing security findings in the merge request um, and improving the, or, you know, any organization's ability to shift left or adopt DevSecOps. Uh, Michael Fangman did a great job at recapping and walking through an AUX showcase. So that video has been linked. Um, everyone should take a look at it. It will impact every single area in Secure and Govern, um, as well as Create. Um, and we'll be taking our next steps on refinement and solution validation and bringing Create in um, because most of the work is leveraging their new MR framework. Um, this is a great opportunity for us to get the ideas that we've been kicking around for the last two or three years to be executed. Um, so the goal of the business case will be to get leadership to say, yes, do that. Um, so that will be our goal. And then here are the resources. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so feel free to watch that and you can, I'll put a link to the issue. You can feel free to comment in there or you can set time up uh, with Michael and I synchronously if you want to walk through. Um, Big, big change on that. If you haven't seen any of the MR concepts, uh, it's a pretty big difference so, mm -hmm. in a good way, I think. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Still the concept. Our side. Our concepts. Our, Fantastic. Our side's going to be amazing. Yes. Um, anything on that before we close? Three minutes to go. I do want to look at the everyone's capacity table. Um, Michael, you have no flex capacity. I just haven't decided what I'm putting in there yet. Okay. I have six points I'm currently dedicating to the group, but basically I have like 10 or 12 points for the milestone. Okay. Um, Camellia's pretty good split. Becca and Andy, you're very low on flex. I just I don't, want to make sure you're aware of that. I actually don't remember putting the numbers in, so I need to go back. I don't those. remember putting numbers in either. I may have copied it over from previous because I might have just copied the table. It was a couple weeks yeah, ago. I think you did. I think you do that every time, which works. It's a good base. <laughs> yeah. At the very least, the, the total column should be the same. If you didn't go on vacation that previous milestone. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So take a look at those, make sure that's updated and uh, makes sense. Um, you always want to make sure that you've got something held over for that stuff that comes up that we don't know about. There's always something. All right, that's all I got. Okay. As well, that's cool. all I got. Last yeah. chance to say anything. If not, we can end this call. I think we're good. Thanks for doing this. I could take notes when you did this. It was great. Nice. All right. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, Bye all. Bye all.